got three items from here already, which is pretty cool. I think we've got about three or four more charity shops to do. Run. Just run. Welcome to The Ad Show. Why hello there and welcome to another charity shop hunting video. So you can see we are in the famous Northwich as I always am. But don't worry, we are going to go on to a few charity shops in another town in Cheshire today. That I've not really shared on a vlog to be honest I don't think. Or if I have maybe I've only done it once or twice. Uh, which is a little town called Stockton Heath. Little bit upmarket, but you can still sometimes get uh, a few things from there. Um, well, to be honest, I say it's upmarket. I don't know really. It might not be upmarket, but I'm just assuming that. But for now, we are in Northwich, which is my local town, if you don't know, but I'm sure if you've uh, followed this channel for a while, you will be sick of seeing the charity shops in Northwich because I share them that often. Uh, we're just going through some wax now. As I've said, I don't really do clothing, but you know, sometimes I feel compelled to have a look through the shirts. And if I see something that catches my eye, I don't know, just a weird brand that I've never seen before, sometimes I'll chance my arm and I'll pick it up. But today, I didn't actually do any of that. I didn't pick up any clothing or anything like that. But sometimes I do. Actually, there's a uh, G-Star Raw uh, shirt. I did actually look at that one for a minute. I don't know whether it was worth picking up or not. I know G-Star in the whole clothing seller's world is meant to be pretty decent. But I think it's mainly the jeans that are decent, not the uh, shirts. But I don't know. I'm, I, I'm not a clothing seller, am I? So I don't really know. So I've done about three or four charity shops so far. Nothing yet. I am actually going to another town today as well. I'm going to Stockton Heath. So I've not just got Northwich. Um, I mean, I've got maybe about another four or five charity shops here. And then I think there's six in Stockton Heath, something like that. I can't remember. I'm trying to remember, but I can't remember. But yeah, we're going there as well. So I will vlog a little bit there and uh, take you around the charity shops there and see what I pick up there, even if I don't get anything here. But yeah, on with the next few charity shops, I think. We're just in the Bernardo's uh, Children's Shop here, a shop that I don't really do much filming in. Um, I don't know why, really. I just, I've never really filmed in it that much. But yeah. We're just in there having a browse. You'd think it'd be brilliant because, you know, there's loads of toys and games and everything in there. But the prices on a lot of the stuff are just a little bit high, to be honest. So, yeah, I don't generally get that much from there anymore. I used to get more when there was different managers in there and the prices were a little bit lower. Uh, but these days, yeah, it, it's hard to find anything in there. Plenty of stuff. Uh, just prices are a little bit high um, nowadays. So anyway, I'll leave you with the rest of these clips and I will leave you to enjoy them at your leisure and we will be soon off to Stockton Heath. So we have made it to Stockton Heath and the first thing I noticed in a few of the charity shops was the prices. They were quite high. In fact, I'm coming up on this little uh, game here, Tim Plate Game. You can see it was £50 and now it was down to £35 and it actually had a little eBay sticker on saying it's £80 on eBay or something. Now, I know some of the charity shop managers tend to price a little bit lower kind of thinking that they've got eBay resellers in mind, thinking that maybe 
just under double our money is a good enough margin. But I think what they fail to realise is postage, fees, uh, our time involved, all the rest of it. And if we're only coming out with a tenner profit on a £50 purchase, we're just not going to do it. But I do think, uh, there's a part of me that thinks maybe some of these managers are actually thinking that they're pricing with eBay's resellers in mind, even though they're clearly not. But I don't know, maybe they're not. Maybe they're just pricing for the general public. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, you can see here, I'm just going through a load of toys and uh, plush toys, games and stuff that are in this big uh, basket thing. You see these quite a lot in charity shops. I always do like to have a quick look through these. You never want to know what you might find. There might be a nice Disney plush in there or some sort of rare Warner Brothers plush or something. So it's always worth just having a look. So we are in Stockton Heath now, we've done a few of the charity shops already, I've managed to get a little bit of footage. We've got three items from here already which is pretty cool, I think we've got about three or four more charity shops to do. I got one item in town so it wasn't brilliant today, sometimes that's generally how it goes. Um, but yeah, we'll get on with it anyway, we'll see what else I pick up. It's really noisy near this road so I don't know how well the audio is coming out. Uh, but yeah, we'll get on with it and we'll hit up a few more charity shops. So my mum and my auntie wanted to go to this kind of lemon tree shop. So luckily I found the husband chair. And are you just going to stare at the camera for that long Adam? Really? But anyway, as you can see, while I was randomly staring into a camera looking a bit like a psycho, uh, my mum and my auntie were doing a little bit of dress shopping. Uh, not something I'm really into, but obviously I just do it for them. To the old vlog. She's not been in Zalo's Cafe in much. Never been in Zalo's Cafe? No, I've never been to meet your man. Hey, just tell the camera what you said to me about me be coming up on Google. Oh yeah, I yeah. went on to my phone, yeah. on the internet, yeah. and um, Adam was the second thing I've listed. I decided I might strip and do my so after we were done in Stockton Heath, uh, my mum suggested we stop off at this little farm shop called The Hollies. Really, really nice place. I love it when we go there. Um, and yeah, it's just got really lovely food in there, lovely produce in there. Um, and yeah, I just thought I'd do a bit of filming. Funny story with this, actually. This was the first time I ever got asked what I was doing uh, when I was filming. So a lady who worked there came up to me and said, excuse me, why are you filming? And I said, I have a YouTube channel, I do a vlog. And she said, that's fine, it, it was okay that I was filming. But it was weird because I've been doing YouTube for four years, or just over four years now. And uh, yeah, I've never had that situation anywhere where I've been uh, that I can recall uh, where I got asked to stop filming. Really, really weird. But anyway, as you can see here, we're just kind of browsing through some of the stuff. It's kind of a typical farm shop, but it is very, very nice. You know, we've got really, really nice stuff in there. We're going to have a look at not only the breads in a sec, but also uh, the fruit and vegetables. And some of them look really, really good. You can see there the breads look really, really nice, sort of artisanal breads. And you can see just a plethora, a rainbow of colours there over on the fruit and veg. The olives, oh my god, I love olives, absolutely brilliant. So it was at about this point that the lady came over and asked what I was doing. So this clip may cut off a little bit abruptly, but I did do a bit more filming of a few of the toys in another room. You can see there was plenty of jelly cats here actually, and although this isn't the place to pick them up, jelly cats are a good brand of soft toy to look out for in the charity shops. 
So do pick them up if you see them at a reasonable price. So we are done with our little trip out. We are just dropping my auntie off there. There she is there. Yeah, I got a few items. So I will do a whole video when I get back and share with you the items I got. It wasn't brilliant in town. I didn't get too much. I did actually miss out a couple of charity shops because I needed to run over to Sainsbury's, do the shop. Then we needed to pick up my auntie and go head on to Stockton Heath. So... In my kind of haste, obviously, I couldn't do a couple of chat shops in Northwich, so I might have got a little bit more if I did do those other two. But to be honest, it was okay. I got a few items. We had a nice little lunch out. And yeah, heading on back now, I've got to do my parcels actually for today and uh, get them out the door before the day's through. So that being said, I will see you in the next segment for the whole video. <laughs> <laughs> 